as you can see, let me grab my wand here, my selenite wand. As you can see, there's light around his head. So it's telling us that you're wanting more enlightenment. You're wanting more, almost, I'm hearing proof. Um, maybe proof to yourself that uh, possibly a, a new venture or a new idea has sustainability and is valid. But you're really wanting to gain more insight. So that's, to me, how sort of the mid-month starts off in April for you. I'm just looking at everything on this. The symmetry, symmetry <laughs> of here that we have the leaves hanging down. It just seems so, I don't know. I've never noticed that before about the hanged man. Um, the way he has his arms out and the, the branches out. So he has his arms behind his back, actually. But you're wanting to gain more perspective. I feel that you do hear of um, a message that gives you some mental clarity or you gain mental clarity through this hangman. Hey, Again, this this oftentimes is something, a piece of news we find out about, and I don't mean news on the, you know, watching the news, news for you personally, Gemini. And this remembers for Gemini, this video, Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. If these messages do not resonate, watch your moon and rising side. I always say that anyway, just to get a, a bigger picture of things. Uh, but I do feel like you're going to hear something. And this, that's beneficial to you. I think this page of swords is wanting to cut through all the red tape, the BS, and really get to the point. And that may be you. You're just wanting to say, okay, I'm plant my feet firmly on, firmly on the ground. I'm going to be open, but I want to get to the truth. I want to get to where I need to be so that I can develop myself, develop my career, develop my home life, develop my relationships. Yeah, because it feels like this uh, Page of Swords is turned towards him. It's like, no, no, no more. <laughs> By the end of uh, April, I think you're this, oh, deliberating, this Mercury retrograde feeling is not going to be there as much. You will have done your thinking, Gemini. So let's see what comes up for the first two weeks of May. Interesting. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands here. And the, the page uh, Seven of Swords. The Ten of Wands indicates to me wanting to alleviate burdens so that you can go into an easier place, a place that's less stressful, a place that is less burdensome. You want to let go of some of the tasks that you do at your work or some of the nitty gritty work that you're not so fond of and you really want to do what's what your talents and abilities are so whatever it is that you're not enjoying at your job or your you know it can indicate home but the ones are of course are usually about our work whatever you're not enjoying i feel like you just kind of want to I'm feeling my shoulders want to relax. And if any of you all have um, upper neck or shoulder or back pain, I'm sort of feeling that with this particular card for you. So, you know, he's moving here towards this wonderful house. He's going to let the, the burdens drop one by one by one. So it's going to take... It's going to take your really slicing through in order to do that and just saying, okay, I don't need to be doing this uh, anymore. I don't need to be filling out all this paperwork. Maybe I can do, um, what's the word I want to say? Hand it over to someone else. Hire someone. Maybe an assistant is what you need. Maybe someone to help clean your house. Um, and, and that's not just it. It's you want to you want to lighten the load, and however that makes sense to you. Now, beside this guy, who's walking towards his better place, then we have the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords indicates to me someone who is stealing mental clarity, stealing um, stealing away with possibly your thoughts and ideas. 
Now here's an, this is another sword sign, so this does represent error. Um, brings in Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I'm not just talking about this. Someone is is one of them, but it's, it is about error, our mental thoughts. You know, he's taking off with the five swords and he's leaving two. So, you know, I would just say be cautious. Be cautious of others that you feel are not in alignment with your highest and your highest purpose, your goals, what you want or what you're wanting to create with your goals. You know, he seems happy that, ah, oh, I've gotten five of them. There's two left, but I, at least I stole away with five. So, you know, it could be you. Let's see. I'm going to ask my pendulum if this is you, Gemini. The Seven of Swords. Is the Seven of Swords Gemini? I, I, for most of you, I don't think so. I think this gym, this uh, Seven of Swords is someone else. Now, for you, if you feel like you're getting away with something, then, well, you know, maybe you need a little bit of relief. But I feel like this is someone else who just kind of watch your ideas and where they're going and who knows about what you're planning and you're creating. Because some people are, are supportive of us and other people are not. So leave in the comments below, who might this Seven of Swords be? Okay, so the the energies between the two months is the Five of Cups. So this is, a, the Cups are about our heart and our emotions, and the Five is about loss, the feeling of loss. What have, you know, maybe you're not in a relationship any longer. But more than that, it's been a while since you've, this has happened, this relationship or the loss of someone through, you know, they've passed away or things just didn't go right in your business, you know, because he's focusing on these three cups that are down and that's the negative side of life. That's the who done me wrong song. <laughs> you know, that's focusing on who done me wrong. I, there's two cups behind him. If you just turn around and look at what he is grateful for or she is grateful for, then that would make a huge difference. So you have some work ahead of you, Gemini, and I'm, I don't mean this type of burdensome work, but letting go of feelings or negative beliefs that just don't serve you any longer, serve your inner strength, your inner power. You're recreating yourself, Gemini, for sure. Okay, let me take a look at the crystal ball and see what this brings in for Gemini. All right, I'm looking for any visual or a totem animal. Okay, I'm seeing a cat. This is a rather large uh, black cat. So you could say that this is a house cat. It could also, let's just say it could also be a panther, right? Am I correct on that? Are panthers black? I believe they are, so you may want to want to look up what panther, you know, the different personality, the traits, how they work with other species and other animals and see if something about that really helps motivate you. I am seeing in this uh, crystal uh, someone that feels like they're hiding themselves. They're, they're caped. Um, it's not a black cape. It's, it's, white color, but I do feel like it could be possibly this person who's can be deceitful. So again, just being aware of who's around you and who you're sharing your information with. I hmm, Okay, that's an interesting... Okay, that's an interesting visual. So part of it looks like to me it's like um, a medal or, yeah, an award or medal that hangs on possibly a military suit, a military uniform, rather. Um, so any of you all that possibly are old enough to have been in the military or your father or your grandfather, it might be that they're, even if they've passed on, that they're uh, around you. Getting a lot of light blue, Gemini. Wow. Okay, so that's the throat chakra, right? That's about communication, and that is you. Um, 
it is a beautiful light blue. So you're, that is beautiful. Let, let me see if there's a message around that or if it's just, there's so much um, unique specialties that you, and ways that you communicate with others. I feel like you're even going to expand that. Um, your wordage is going to become richer. Let me turn this up. Your um, vocabulary, possibly, um, a little bit more colorful in how you speak, but... Yeah, I kind of feel like you're changing, not your lifestyle, but part of how you communicate, which is a big part of who what we do. Well, okay. So the last facial I saw was someone, I don't know if, okay. If any of you all, and you know, you may not know, you know, there's a show on TV that talks about how to find our ancestors from a long time ago. Ancestry.com can do that. But I feel like someone has a relative, and I hate to say this, someone has a relative that was hung. Um, so, you know, this will pertain to one or two, or I don't know how many of you, but I'm just saying that this person was persecuted for possibly just, you know, robbery or stealing a horse, but it was a long time ago. So... Anyway, or if you're reading any books or literature about that type of thing, then that could be coming up as well. Okay. Let me go back to the communication, though. That's really going to be how you, a lot of how you're changing your way, and it could be communicating through, um, you know, YouTube, uh, Facebook. Um, what else is out there? All kinds of social media. And so I feel like you're just communicating differently. All right, let's see. Let's add up the numbers. We have 12, 13, 5 is 18, 28, and 7 is what? 35, right? 3 and 5 is 8. 8 is about abundance, or it's also about and also about the infinity sign, if you look at it horizontally. So you know, maybe the universe wanting you to see your infinite ways, your spiritual um, infinite ways, how you can create the most, manifest the most with what you have in life. And I know that the, uh, the eight in the major arcana is the strength card. So the universe is saying, we're giving you strength. We want you to have strength to mull through this and to push forward because you're going to make a lot of changes. Some of you are going to make a lot of changes in your life that I feel like the next three, four, five months are really going to um, be a, like a wow. <laughs> you're going to be happy that you got it here. You put your burdens down. This will be something to deal with. But you're going to get it that you... Or, like I said, say the wow word um, when it looks like a rosier picture for some of you. 